Hello everyone, and welcome back. My name is Nicholas, this is Major Crit, and here we are about to jump into the darkness of the silent, sightless passage. I almost said silent passage. Let's see, they're recommending reds and yellows. Some fire, some electricity, some combat. Ooh, this might be where they introduce electricity to us. Um, they did that really early in Pikmin 3, uh, where they had you use uh, your yellow Pikmin to... Um, help light up an area with light bulbs. Let's see if that happens here or not. Let's see. So we got the exit right there. Okay, so just getting near those. Actually here. For the purposes of safety, I feel like it's better for us to um, keep the reds with us. In fact, if I was really smart, yeah, I would I just charge uh, Ochi into it. on my yellows and now I can see where I ever need need them. As long as we're careful with these guys, they're not an issue. Uh, some some safe yellows. Let's see, where is the base from here? I see. Okay, that's not bad. So we can just call it over here. Oh, did that get all of our pick? Oh, oh brought all of our Pikmin here as well. I just saw on the map some yellows. And in full flower as well. Okay. I've actually been looking at the map. Alright, so I started there. I went around here. Got this left to go. Okay. guys on fire. Okay, I think that should be enough to just yeah, finish the job. Oh, something to dig up here. Let's get Ochi on that. I don't need too many yellows. But see, you're actually more valuable, so let's do that. Let's see, we've got a wall. Oh, nice. Um, have you guys working on that? Oh, I see, I see. How are we going to get him down? I keep forgetting that Ochi can um, knock things off ledges. Perfect. Okay, we've got another place for our base. Get a 
bunch more reds to go deal with that rocky guy. And then we should be able to bring the base over here. Oh, you're going to be an electricity one, aren't you? Okay, how do you function? Did I just lose a bunch? I just lost a bunch. Man, between today and yesterday, I'm just not having good luck with my reds. How many do I have left? Oh man, I'm really low. Let's see, another ID to check. It is Sai from the Research Task Unit. The environmental, uh, this environmental ecologist joined the team to research Pikmin ecology and decipher their mysterious relationship to whistles. Ah, the endless burden of the academic. Never satisfied unless they see with their own eyes and touch with their own hands. That's very unfortunate. Alright. So I know now I need to be more careful with those guys. Um, no, not command. Switch. Okay, so he did not get moved. As I would have wished. So we'll just let him be here a little bit later. So it looks like a big, strong electric wall. Oh, no, they're busting through it pretty quick, though. Nope, oh, wrong. Nope. Oh, he's the wrong button. I sent when I should have charged. I'm so annoyed that I lost all those yellow, uh, reds, and in such like an avoidable manner as well. Okay, so he's got that. What else is around the corner here? Something glowy? Oh! These guys... They're just a pain. I should've, like, I really was, I was thinking in my head, like, oh, that looks like a trap. That's probably not good. And look, it was a trap, and it wasn't good. Alright. So we're almost all the way back to where we started. Some reds back at least. Certainly doesn't make up for all the ones I've lost. But it gets me a few back. That's all I can really ask for at this point. Let's speed up that. Let's see, and that is this level. Pretty much done. Just need to wait for a delivery. In fact, okay, from where they are right now, uh, it's kind of equidistant, I think. Um, let's get some of the guys that got. We got. And nectared up again. Oh, yeah, yeah. That was nice and fast. All right. Oh, wait, was that the entire? Oh yeah, that was the entire thing. Huh. I didn't realize that this was uh, an up. Yeah. Indeed, all right. 
thinking that was kind of a, a large level, but um, that's because it's a one-level cave. Will this bring us up on the other side of the thing? Alright. Is that a... I don't even know what game that is. A little, little uh, Game Boy Advance Micro. I remember those. Thought they were cool, but I never got one because uh, I already had a Game Boy Advance and it was just going to be more money for something that was worse. <laughs> but really, really tiny and with really cool little uh, designs and, uh, you know, cases, essentially. Uh, so, so, something fun to have, but uh, not unless you've got some just extra cash laying around that you don't mind burning. Man, can we, like, finish this level? T oh. That looks like an enemy. I don't know if that's an enemy. But, um... I think that's... Our last thing. Yeah, 99%... Okay. Ooh, if we can just, in the very last thing here, get... Um... That treasure. Uh, then we can call it done for this area. Which would be nice. Yeah, let's see if we can do this. Yeah, okay. Yeah, they wrecked him. All right, yeah. carry him. Carry that. Come on. As fast as possible. Help him out. Go fast. There's another thing over here. Oh, it's high. I didn't realize it was high. Ooh. Mm. Is that going to be... Am I going to have to come back here for literally one thing? Time. I'm not going to have time. So close, but so far. Uh, do you have to gather... Pikmin thing? No. I was stuck down there. I did. We lost three guys. No idea where they are. Man, that's so annoying. If I just... If I rewound... To exiting the cave. Alright. We're gonna do that... Just because that's so annoying. <laughs> Let's go ahead. So now that we know what we not want, oh no, wrong direction. In fact, yeah. We'll just do this. And then it's like, oh look, we can just, you know, do that. Huh. Okay, so maybe we attacked from the back last time, this time we attacked from the front, and that was a bad idea. Ow, oh, yeah, he plants your guys, doesn't he? Yeah. Such a weird enemy. Alright. Reds. Yep, get that to make up for um, some of the guys you lost. Yep. That's going well. Bach that's playing uh, one of the songs from the um, previous games. Alright, I think we're good. 
Just keep an eye on these guys. I'm, I'm glad that they give us that rewind. Because, man, it would have been annoying to try to come back here with, um... Literally only one thing to grab and then just, you know, end day. Alright. 100% done with this area. Go ahead and do some plucking. Yeah, let's call that. Go ahead and end the day. Don't need to watch that again. We've seen it enough times. All right, that feels good. So what? She said we can fully repair the thing, so that would be unlocking a fourth region. So are there just four regions in this game? So we're kind of halfway through. Unless, of course, the second half ends up being longer than the first half. Which could happen. My staff could be shorter, though, depending on um, if there's, you know, just like kind of a big boss battle focus rather than um, lots of, you know, time-consuming exploration. Sparkling. Sparklium. We've got enough energy stored up that we should have no problem starting the SS Shepard's engines. I'll make sure the ignition is functioning properly. Mission Secure Energy Source, Restored SS Shepard's Engines. We've stored up plenty of energy for the SS Shepard and expanded the radar search area. The engines are ready to go again, too. So, it, like, we could theoretically leave. Now we can take off at any time. If we could only find our pilot. Until then, the SS Shepard remains grounded. Well, maybe that's our pilot there. So much sparkly. Um, Yeah, we went from 59 to 100% done in one day. I think that's a lot of that was Cave of Beasts. That was a big one with lots of stuff in it. I don't get it. Why do we fight? And why does everything have to be a competition? Is something the matter, boss? No, uh, just a passing thought I had while watching that Dandori battle. It just strikes me as sad. Here we are, all living together and sharing the same universe. We should be friends, not foes. Hey. Makes sense. But then shouldn't we and uh, you be friends with all the creatures of the universe as well? Creatures? No, no. That's an entirely different situation. Alright, so yeah, clear. There, alright. Let's see what side quests we can hand in. I know we've, um, you know, completed an area so we can get a, a reward for our ranger. Let's see who's got rewards and then what upgrades can we get? Oh, you think you've got this under control, is that it? No one can pull a fast one on me. <laughs> okay. I feel like 30 mats is not enough for clearing the whole area. I see, well, you're not done yet, newbie. Keep at it and finish the job. He should totally have an Australian accent, but I can't pull one off. Um, Puddle, the stylus is looking for you. Hi, I'm Mika. You're probably wondering what a high school teacher is doing here. Uh, I came to this planet to supervise a student field trip, but it's not going so well. Thank you for rescuing me. Why? Field trip to an unexplored planet? I'm sure you're busy, but do you think you could search for the students that came here with me? The Alion Academy's Planetary Science Club only has three students. Shiba, Kish, and Kaya. Oh. If they aren't found, I don't know how I could ever face their parents. Please, if there's any way you could help. Alright. We'll surely get that done. Eventually. Hey, I'm Sai. I like to consider myself an expert in habitat ecology. When I heard an unknown planet had been found, my first thought was, unknown planet means unknown creatures. Who could resist an opportunity like that? Not me, that's for sure. I applied to join the research task force as soon as I could. Nope, oh, sorry. This probably seems random, but I have a request for the two of you. I'm currently researching the connection between the Pikmin and the whistles they respond to. I have loads of questions. Like, how many Pikmin can you lead at a time? And will the whistle still work on all your Pikmin if your squad increases? That's just the tip of the iceberg in terms of what I want to know. How about we just start out with you telling me when your squad gets bigger, and we'll go from there. 
What? No way! You already lead that many Pikmin? Wow. Alright. Nice. I'm simply astonished at your abilities. Try taking on even more. I would love to. That'd get us up to 80, and then I'm presuming that 100 is going to be our max. Alright, let's see. Anyone else with things of import? No, I keep pressing the wrong button. I do X when I mean Y, and Y when I mean X. Ah, choose your luck. Aren't you the one who saved me? You are. Thank you so much. Hey, have you ever thought it'd be fun to try on a different look than your usual? You know, really shake things up? Yeah, I'm not really digging the purple hair. I've been regretting that choice. I'll let you in on a little secret. Your friend Puddle here is a stylist. That means I can help you update your look whenever. Yes, yes please, actually. Uh, I'd love to meet more of them. Oh, rescued leaflings. It's important to be open to new experiences. Seeing new sights, meeting new folks. It's inspiring, don't you think? So plenty more leaflings to find. Yeah, it's the color specifically. Just I'm not digging it with the green especially. Do you want to go with the red? Red and green. Red and green's not a bad look. Skin tone doesn't really match the colors. Like I'd, I'd want. Like, I don't know how, like, I'm a summer, I'm a winter, however that, like, cut color thing with, with tones and, and clothing goes. But, like, I'm just feeling like the colors here don't quite match that. Maybe I should pretend I'm more tan than I am. <laughs> Maybe I should pretend <laughs> I'm a lot more tan than I am. No. Uh, nose changes color, too. I wasn't really thinking about that. Interesting. Let, let's go for that. It just... That looks good, I think. A lot better. So it looks less like me, but more like a character I actually like the look of. So, eh, whatever. We're dealing with a pretty limited character creator here, right? So. You are glowing right now. Did you know that? I love it. And the fact that, um, you know, he helped us do this means, uh, you know, we just got, like, the spray tan on. <laughs> Color good. Get more enemies. Didn't mean to do that. Yep. Twenty more from creatures. Ah, that was fascinating. So fascinating. You must let me know if you find any more snarly snugglers out there. Find 75. Oh, don't worry about that. Oh, gee. No. Why do I keep doing that? It's, I want to jump. So I want to press the jump button, which charges him forward. But... You seem to be traveling through those caves at a good clip. Drop your latest report on me. Ten caves. I want to help you discover the spirit of caves. You should continue your endeavor to explore even more of them. Okay, five more. Now let's see who else. New gear. Let's go ahead and see what Ochi can get. We've got, what, five points. Yeah, let's go for a three. Um, this would be pretty useful. That's a pretty good ability. Gather Pikmin. All right, that didn't unlock anything new for us, unfortunately. Let's see. Super buff or doggy paddle. Let's go ahead and get super buff. That seems pretty useful. What does he max out at? 20, 30, um, a huge jump up to 100. Alright, I think that might be what we go for. Just because 4 points to get him up to 100 strength is pretty good. On the other hand, Chomp. We need 6 to get... I'm, I'm not really big into the level 1, him jumping. That doesn't interest me too much. Um, so it cost us 6 to get anywhere I care about. Uh, and lab, what do we got here? New item. Okay, so for items, we have the Trachinator. A bomb that always tracks its prey and never loses it. In the wild, it's, I'd much rather be the chaser than the chasee. Okay, let's look at gear. 
headlamp plus we saw how much dark caves are a bit of a pain i mean not a huge pain but still a pain air armor just defense in general six signal I never punch anything. All right, let's get Ochi geared up. Well, no, let's get Headlamp Plus. So we get maximum light. And then Tough Stuff Plus for Ochi. And then Air Armor for Ochi. Half damage, yeah, that's good. And that's some good stuff for us. So just upgrades for us, which I don't care about. I'm planning to always just be in the back and away from danger as much as possible. Maybe we'll start getting some of these. Like, Adler's Alert sounds really good. I'd like that. Um, all right. Um, and I think maybe next time we'll start off with a night expedition. Um, but yeah, it's time to call it quits for today. So I'll see you guys later. Bye.